all, my name is James. And I'm Zamutla Mazagoba. Today we'll be discussing a project that we've been developing for the past six weeks. Now we are tasked with developing a device that will be fitted inside the mouth. Now this device must be able to detect bruxism episode and provide a stimulus to the user. Now bruxism is a process whereby a person is clenching or grinding their teeth. Now this can occur during the day or at night. At night, it is most detrimental because the person is not aware. Bruxism affects about 5 to 36 percent of the world's population. Up to this day, doctors don't completely understand what causes bruxism, but they believe that this condition may be, linked, may be caused by the genetic and uh, the psychological factors. The symptoms of bruxism include teeth grinding, which is loud enough to wake up your partner. Um, if this condition is not treated properly, it may lead to jaw disorders and headaches. So we have categorized our system into five main systems. Here in the middle, we have a device. A device contains a microcontroller, an RF transmitter, a sensor, and a vibrating motor. A vibrating motor is used to send a stimulus to the user. Now, a transmitter sends data wirelessly to the receiver and the Bluetooth module. The Bluetooth module and the receiver interpret the data and send it to the phone where you, we, you can see that data with an app. Here is a virtual setup where we will simulate the occlusional forces that are exerted during bruxism episodes. Okay, so these are our physical subsystems that we came up with. The first one is our testing pad, which uses these masses to exert the occlusional forces onto our device. The second device is our dental model, which composes of a sensor that measures the forces that are exerted on the tip. So this is our app, which shows the profile of the bruxism episodes. Our last uh, circuit is a circuit that is used to transmit the data which is composed of the, the receiving and the Bluetooth module. So our device only gets powered if you compress it. As you can see, it was initially off. These are our readings from the Arduino software which indicates that there are no forces exerted on our testing bed. Our app also confirms that there are zero forces exerted on our testing bed. When applying 3 kg into our testing pad, we get 29 newtons from our serial monitor. LED was substituted instead of a vibrating motor since the vibrating motor was not audible enough. After 4 seconds, a stimulus is provided in a form of an LED blinking. 3 kg masses was exerted on an accurate scale. As confirmed by the app, the forces being exerted on our dental model is 29 newtons. This is the prosthetic layer of our app.